Okay, let's go ahead and get started and talking about um, our supplies. So you can use anything that you guys want to use for your board. I actually have some of the ultra fine Sharpies and then I have, of course, I have a, um, a yardstick here. And the base that I'm using is just what I thought would be convenient and it's just these Artist Loft um, uh, palette, what? Like art palettes from Michaels. They come in a five pack, so they end up being like two dollars and twenty five cents each. Um, it's pretty affordable. Um, anyway, and I love it because it's already framed. It already has the um, the frame on it, so it's easy to hang up. Um, so anyway, I just let just to say I do, do do this two different ways. So I this is one that I hang, but normally what I do is I actually have it in my book. Uh, that I travel with, so when I, I I just started to do a small one here, so I'll actually do it on a paper first. Um, you can kind of see how I've quadrant. I like, I'm very um, organized and I like things in a certain area, but I've kind of sectioned everything out and I've started to kind of write my goals and I will finish this and this will go with me. So I always have something like that that I take with me in my work planner, if you will, um, and then so I have that. But this is something that I wanted to do for more visualization, which I thought would be really fun. And so I have everything prepped. I've already done my assessment, obviously we've done our scoring, I've worked on my goals, I've done my, my little mind mapping in each section, and then what I went, I happen to have a bunch of these little sticker pads from um, the Happy Planner, I have, I have several of them, um, if you can see, I used to be a, a huge scrapbooker, I, I don't scrapbook as much, but I do journal still, and so I have a bunch of these, so this is what I will be pulling into to use, and what I went ahead, I have a reusable sticker book. Again, I used to be a scrapbooker, huge one. But I went ahead and prepped um, each section with different stickers that I thought for each section. Some quotes. I'm, I mean, I probably will pull in more than just that. Obviously, this one is very lacking right now. So I will pull in more than that. But this is just what I thought to get me going. So I have each section. I've also ordered these stickers that are... Um, we can do this on Etsy, but I ordered these um, for each section as well. And then I also have my my uh, let's see, my highlighters that I got from um, I got these from Michaels actually, and I went ahead and kind of tested them out and figured out the ones that I you can see here. I figured out the ones I wanted to use for each section. So I kind of, that's so why they're all in a row right now, so they're all ready for me to use. Um, so I kind of figured out what I wanted because I like to color code my goals. And so that's what I have done there. So, anyway, so I am all set to go. Um, and so, like I said, you guys, there's no wrong way to do a vision board. <laughs> Let me just get that out there. This is just the way that I am doing it. Um, let me open up my Sharpies. Again, these are the Ultra Fine. This is just the way that I am doing it. If you want to use magazines, if you want to use photos, anything will work. This is just what I had on hand, and it was the most easy for me. And I feel like a lot of people have um, similar things like this. Um, a magazine is fine as well. Like I said, there's no wrong way. So it's like whatever you want to use. But I'm just going to go ahead, because I am very, I'm very OCD, I actually am, I'm going to do from point to point, and I'm just going to draw a line. Just kind of trying to... I mean, this will not be perfect, but it'll be as close as I can get it. So I'm dividing mine up, as you can see. Then I'm going to switch it the other way and divide this into the eight sections um, that I want to do it. So if you guys want to go ahead and do that with me, um, divide yours up into eight sections. And again, this gives me that middle point, which allows me to, um, I have to move this over because I have a computer in front of me. Which allows me to, I actually have a T-square. Okay, it's, not, it's just a, it's not a complete T-square. So it's not quite long enough, but it will help me enough that I can, I'm going to just do it from this point. I feel like that will help me to be straight. Like I said, I'm, I am actually OCD. Um, I just like things very particularly in a way. So I'm just going to go ahead and continue that up so that when I flip it, I can get that straight line. And my uh, husband's grandfather would be so proud. He was a self-made architect and very, very neat and orderly in his things. We got along very well, as you can imagine. Anyway, um, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put, do the other one. Again, you guys, this, if you guys function better with it just being more cluttered and, um, or just all over the place, then do whatever works for you. Like I said, I know that some people prefer uh, the vision boards on the computer as like their um, screensaver, but my screensaver, when I'm on my computer, my, my screensaver is never up. 
and I want this to be something that I see all the time, right? So um, that's why I normally have this in a notebook because that's how I like to do it. Um, I love to have a notebook area. Okay, so there is my divisions here. And then again, I'm just gonna be using a lot of things that I had already on hand. This is the journaling one. I used to be a huge journaler, like I said. Um, so I'm gonna try to make sure you guys have enough light and you can see what's going on here. Okay, hopefully that's good for you guys. Okay, here we go. So I'm just gonna take a few of the, the larger one. Well, I think I'm probably gonna take a larger box first. I think I will. So will that take a lot enough space? I think so. So I think this is the one I wanna use. Um, yeah, I feel like that is pretty good right there. Okay, so I'm just, I'm actually gonna eyeball it. Nope, that's not straight. Okay, we're gonna call this good. Now I do have on the side as well, as I do have a glue pin, so should things not stick, I have one of these glue pins that you just stick down and it will help you. So that's that. So you can, in the middle here, you can write your word of the year, or you can, you can write the year, whatever you want. So I've already done an intro to you guys, so I know that you guys know that I really feel like this is, um, Real, this is for me vision board is not five years down the road. You can have another one for five years down the road if you want This is for this year. These are things that you want to work on and accomplish this year It needs to be very centered if you want to accomplish, you know, your 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 dreams Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and take these other boxes that I had set aside. Where are they? Um, again, they're just these from the same book and I'm going to take them and put them in the different sections here so whatever they are, and I'm sorry if, if you guys find this <laughs> too weird, but I do like to have things lined up, so do whatever <laughs> works for you. And there we go. I just find it more visually pleasing, which means I actually want to refer to it more, right? So <laughs> that's what I do. Okay, let me grab the next two. And again, I'm just, I'm gonna try and eyeball this. I'm trying to not be such a stickler, but it's really, that's really, really hard for me. It's not gonna happen, I'm gonna use this. <laughs> okay. There we go. And then I'm just gonna move my way up here. I'm putting one here. I'm kind of eyeballing the corner there, if you can see, kind of matching those corners up. And then one more. I'm just getting my sections put down. Uh, again, please don't feel like you have to do it the way I'm doing it. Please do it anyway. Um, you wanna do magazines work. You can print out pictures from Pinterest. Um, all, different, all different things work. It's really just a matter of, uh, of what you like and what works for you. And that makes you want to refer to it because the way to check in on your goals is to see it and use it, right? So whatever works for you. And actually, I don't like these on the top. So I'm going to take those and move those. Um, I have some tweezers that actually even have my name on them. These are my scrapbooking ones. But they actually um, are really, really good for you to get your eye out and your hand out of the way and kind of move it. So, okay, we're just, we're going to go with that. I think these need to be down a little bit more. Again, I told you guys, this is a real thing for me. I'm very... <laughs> very OCD about things so there we go okay so that's that's more like I think I want it no still this isn't good enough it needs to be out a little further it's hard to do it from this angle <laughs> because if you can stand over it and look at it it's a little better Okay, I'm gonna go with that. I think I'm gonna leave it be. We're, we're just gonna go with it, okay. All right, so then what I'm gonna do now from this point is where I'm going to, uh, this, I will probably put my year and my um, my goals, but I have the, the stickers and I'm just going to write and go ahead and go in the circle here of what they are. So this is personal, obviously, then I have fun and recreation. I'm just gonna work in a quadrant here. You guys can write these down and use and use a highlighter, which is why I showed you the highlighters. And then a lot of you guys, if you're not doing this with me, you know, you can just get ideas, take notes, and then go get what you guys want to do. 
um, whatever, like I said, whatever works for you. There's no wrong way. There we go. Spiritual and personal growth. Financial. Again, you guys love the tweezers idea. Love them. If you guys were ever scrapbookers, then you know. There's personal environment. Okay, so there's my section. So I already know that I want to fill these up with, with my my stickers, my whatever for each area. But I will be using my Sharpie to draw lines again. Um, from, and then I will be using my highlighters. So I already know that. So I'm going to start off with my personal. And I have my um, personal right here, personal development. And then I do have my planner right next to me, my goal planner right next to me. So I can kind of see what I was thinking and each each thing. So the first thing here is that I wanted to do routine. So I have the routine. This is one that's really important to me. So I'm just going to put this up here and then I'm going to go with what do I have from there. I want AM and PM routines, which these are too big. Let me see if I can cut them down. Again, scrapbooker if you guys aren't. Scrapbookers. I've been scrapbooking for a long time. I have seven children and I've done scrapbooks for all of them. And now I'm working on one for my grandchildren. So anyway, here we go. AM and PM, let's see if I can make these work. I might need to move this up. That's good and stuck, which is okay. So we're gonna put AM. Actually, I think I wanna put them up here. AM and PM. I wanna work on different AM and PM routines. I have some already, but um, I kinda of wanna change those, kinda of work them out. And then from there, I have, um, I even have like the AM and PM stickers here. So I have coffee and wine and then a sun and a moon. So my AM and my PM. And then what real, what's more realistic to me than wine? Let's see, do I wanna put this here? Wine and then my coffee, which to me, obviously you guys know we do the Bella Vita and we do wine ambassador. So that is what I'm thinking with those here. Okay. And then those will be in my uh, work as well. Okay, and then I have self-care. So I have me time for that. So this is part of a routine as well. So I'm just gonna go off to the side and it will be connected all together. Um, so you'll see that as well. Whoops, I just broke off her arm. Again, I really also like personal photos. This is the first year I'm doing one like this. Normally I do, um, I use personal photos, but I thought this would be kind of fun to try. Okay. So I have a calendar as well, and then I, oh yeah, this is for time. Okay, that's what this is for, because my other part of my, um, my schedule is time. Time. I want to schedule time to do certain things. One of them is for memories that I have here is memories. Um, I want to make sure I'm collecting those. Again, I just said I'm doing this for my um, my grandson, and my grand soon to be granddaughter, and then I want to schedule rest time, which is again part of the time. So I have oh, and I have self care, which should be me time and self care, which are pretty much the same. So I think I'll just use that. Um, and this is to schedule rest time here. I have a little pillow. Schedule time for myself. And again, once you know the area, you know how you can fill it out, right? Um, and I have unplug for resting as well. It's all part of that. So then you can see what I'm going to do is take the personal and I'm gonna go right up to the routine. And then I'm gonna go up to the time. And then from here, I'm gonna draw the arrows there and there. And then from the routine, I'm gonna go up to this and down to the me time. Okay, so it all relates, it all connects. Um, I don't like how I did that, but it's done. Okay, so the next, next section, and then if you will, we can do like that to our personal goals, okay? And it's the same, we'll do the same thing with all of these. So you can, I just wanted to show you guys a section so you can see how it's gonna relate for me. 
Again, if you have pictures and you want to bigger, take up more space, do what works for you. This is just what I'm using. Okay, and then over here, my two main things were to cherish and have fun, which cherishes my word of the year. So I pulled a bunch of things over here that I want to use for this section. Um, so the first thing is cherish. I want to... I loved this quote that says, dance to the beat of your own drum. Um, I really liked that. So let me see if I cut this down. So I'm thinking that will be really fun for the cherish part of it, what I want to work on, which is, um, so I'm going to go ahead and draw my line to here. And I'll probably just write cherish up here. And then um, I have from here, I have, I want to do some girl trips. I want to schedule that. This is important to me, my girlfriends. So I want to make sure I have that there. And I have adventure awaits. Okay, and then probably going to have a lot of this. Walks in life is meant for good friends and good adventures. And I just, I, I like quotes. So let's see if I move this around a little bit. There we are. I want it to all be one. So, and I want to fill the area, is what I'm trying to do. Okay, so there's that. And then we're going to do another section over here, which is like for the fun, uh, for fun for me, which is, you know, I want to, this says happy plans. So, I think I'll just use the rest of this to mark the fun. And then I'll do it. One of my goals was to plan an event. And... Read a book monthly is what I have, but I might not have enough space for all this, so I might have to just, um, there we go. Not use, uh, clearly I just put things down that I thought I wanted to do. And part of the cherishing I have, I have this a couple times because it's really important to me, is walks in nature. And I have these cute little, again, these are all from those books in case you guys are wondering where I got them from. And then I have the plan. Again, you can see if there's if you have more room for more. I think I do there. I'm going to take this pencil. This is how I would prep my scrapbooking pages. Okay. And then I'm going to take my Sharpie again and go from there to here. And then from there to there. And I can write on here if I want to. Um, part of Cherish is this one, goes here, and then this one. I cannot do this backwards. <laughs> I might just end up putting little arrows on there. Who knows? There we go. Okay, so there's the next section. All right, then we're going to go to Work and Learning. And I have some set aside here for this again and we're gonna go with the two that I have three different areas here lessons um, team building and leadership so um, for leadership I have a quote that says don't seek out followers seek out leaders and I thought that was really efficient really relevant I guess is what I was trying to say so I want this to go into two different sections. So I'm going to go down here for this one. And then the other one up here is for team building. So keep it, keep it going and growing. I thought that was great for team building. So I'm going to put that one there. Over here. And then the other one is lessons. Um, and no. I think I'll use this one for that. It says positive vibes. But I think I'm going to cut this off a little bit. I think I'm going to put this one down here. We're going to move this around. 
there we go. Okay, positive vibes, there we are. Okay, so then part of the lessons that I have here, which I do think I want to write lessons on here. There we go, just so I already know where I what space I have. So part of the lessons that I'm obviously working on right now is setting goals and fulfilling our goals, and I'm going to be doing this every month, I think is what Rory and I have talked about. So this is part of the lessons, setting goals, and um, what was the other thing? It's habits. So I wanted to... I can get this off. Setting goals and positive habits, and I think I'm going to switch these and put this one here. And put this one here. Okay. And then for the leaders, what did I say? I said we're going to have, we're going to work on education, and I thought this was such a pretty sticker. Um, education, and oh, so here we go. Weekly. Yeah. So weekly education, we're working on. Education. Oh, that's for me. I was working on my own leadership, I guess. And then keep it growing and going is for Zoom calls, Zoom trainings that I'm doing, and um, one-on-ones that we have as well. I have that for that. So make the call as part of those one-on-ones. And this is for the Zoom trainings. I'm going to put the little meeting here. And I have to have a glass of wine because we have a wine company. So lots of wine in this one. The email is just for my personal over here. Okay, then again, once we go here. Then we can go down. And then this one can go to here. And here. And then setting goals goes up and over. There we go. And that is for me. That's what I want to use. Okay, next we're going on to our family relations. Family and I'm trying to keep my timer. Sorry guys, I keep checking it to make sure I don't go over. Okay, so here's family and relationships. And I have a bunch of different ones again that I've pulled <laughs> different areas. Um, so I have monthly, what is it? Yeah, monthly, weekly, and family. So um, I'm going to do the family time here. Let's see, let's do this one up here because um, I just have a few little stickers for there. And um, I have like game nights and, um, well, I have family dinner. Family dinner, game nights, and then I wanted to do, I think I'm just going to host a summer party. This one says host a summer party, but I want to do themed dinners, so that's what this is for. So again, I'm just trying to see the best way to do this. There, I think like that. Okay. And then from there, the other one is monthly and weekly, which the weekly really is dates with my hubby. Hi, babe. And um, so I have wine glasses. And so that's just like my weekly date. And then I... The rules on dating, guys, if you're not new, is when you're on, if you um, need ideas, I guess I should say, um, is um, don't talk about anything but each other and your goals and your dreams. Okay, so then on the monthly section, which is the larger section, I want to make sure that I'm celebrating each of my kids. So actually, I think I'm going to take another sticker here because this one's a little bit different. Let's see what I have here. I think these will work. No, I just lost it. Whew. There. I need two more of those. Just grab them. Okay, so I think this makes it more, for this one particularly, I feel like I need a, like a, 
a header or something, a script for these, because there's a lot going on in this section. Okay, and then right here. There we go. And this one is like, again, my more of my monthly section. Let's see if I can get these off. I'm going to use the word celebrate. And then I have the, this here for the kids. I want to do that. I want to send notes just because. I'm going to work on that. So I have a send a note sticker. Again, I have a lunch date, but this one is for my dad staying up with my father who's, you know, getting older and I want to make sure I enjoy him. And then my grandson over here. And these are just for going on the grandson date. So I have a zoo sticker, a little thing, and then the park. But this is just all together to just spend time with him. And then um, oh, the lunch date, this is also for my hubby. So I might put a quote. That's why I'm doing this, so that I know what room I have. Um, I don't know if I'm going to put that one there. But then I wanted individual time with my kids, and I have mommy and daughter and mommy and son. And these were, one, I want one-on-ones with my kids. So I think I'll just stick these. I have less daughters than sons. Okay. And so then we'll go again, draw our arrows. It makes it all relative. I mean, this is how I do it. And then from there we have our... And then this is for time with dad. I'm just going to put dad. And this is for the celebrating their birthdays, especially. I mean, I do it anyway, but there. Okay. Oh, up here. So family, I'm going to continue with my game nights with family dinners. themed parties makes it fun okay the next section over here is health and wellness and we're, I think we're cruising right along okay so health and wellness let's do the next section which of course I need to do my doodles to the inside there but I will later okay health and wellness I want to work on my mind and body so I want this to be very very particular um, so I have I love this quote by Vincent Van Gogh. For my part, I know nothing with any certainty, but the sight of the stars makes me dream. I just thought that was really pretty for um, my mind. So I was going to put that over here. And then I have, this year I will be stronger, braver, kinder, and unstoppable. And that is for my body, mind and body. Okay. And then as part of those two things, I'm going to go ahead and, and draw my arrows. And then from each of those, I have a couple of things here, obviously, that I've put aside. I won't use them all, but I do want to make sure I develop good sleep habits. I, I'm hoping with this new product from Bella Vita that I can, um, that will work for me. So I have the sleep, sleeping little pillow with eyelashes. I thought it was so cute. Um, so that's my sleeping habits. I want to read more. I think I'll just use this one. It has a little, little girl reading. Um, I actually really like that one. And then I want to work on meditation and, and Zen, Zen living. So I, I like the little rocks the best, but I don't know. I think the bowl is really super cute too, but I think I'll just use those two. And then that's for my mind. And then over here for my body is I have meal, I want to do more meal planning. So I have this little meal planning sticker here. It says meal plan. I am really good at usually at meal planning, but I have been, I kind of slacked off, but usually I'm really, really good at it. Um, but this year, I don't know, that was kind of a weird one, wasn't it? Um, movement, I have steps. I don't think I'm going to use that one. But for movement, I have steps. Just keep going. And then I have yoga as well. I'm trying to color coordinate these. I think I like that one better. I think that's it. And then I just love this. Get good, get sleep, eat clean, drink water, exercise, repeat. So just 
focusing on that. Just a little quote. And I'm going to turn this and write my little arrows. There we go, and why I'm doing it. And again, I probably have to use some glue here. That's okay. Okay. All right, so those are my arrows. At least those are down. Let's go to the next. I'm probably going to use some glue after we're done. Um, the next area is spiritual growth. It's spiritual and personal growth. And I have three areas, really, that I want to focus on in here. Um, I'm really working on my chakra, aligning my chakras, more of nature, because nature to me is very spiritual, and gratitude. So I have my give thanks here. I'll start with that. And that's for my gratitude. It's very, very important to me um, to have gratitude. And with my gratitude, I want to, let's see if I have, let's do, let's do the, both of these. Here we go. Let's do nature. How, do I want, how did I want to do this? Oh, I had this for the nature. That's what I did. So I have these stars here. I thought those were really pretty. And then I want to make sure I can fit in this because this is really important to me. So it's my mountain. Your mountain is waiting. Get on your way by Dr. Seuss. And I think I'm just going to use this little man, little walking man here. And that's for walks with thought. And then I have, I want to... Well, we'll see. But I wrote down ski, which my husband would be thrilled, but I've been working on my leg pain. Um, but there's my little star, my little snowflake, I mean. And then I have more ocean time, because to me, the ocean just calls me. It's my peaceful spot. And so I have palm trees and a flamingo. But I think I might just have to fit in the, the palm tree here. We'll see. Um, yeah, I can put it down here. We'll see if I have room. And then the give thanks, I want to do um, an AM gratitude. So I have the sun for the AM gratitude that I'm going to give. And then I have a daily study time, which I already do a lot of this, but I'm, I'm, I want to continue. It has a side note there, but then I have this pencil that says study. So I thought I would just kind of stick that on there. And so I have the, oh, and I have journaling. So I wanted to use the pens and pencils to represent journaling, keeping my journal going. And then the other aspect, let me see, I might have to move some of this. I think I'll move this over, down over here. And then I'll put over here my, my chakra. And then I'm going to just put, I couldn't think of how else to display this. So I just took these boxes that were colored I think I'm going to have to move them up. And I just put, I wrote down the different chakras on here. And if you guys are into meditation and whatnot, then this is, you understand. To me, just being balanced in all things is really, really important to me. I feel like it's something I need to strive for. So, And here we go. If you guys don't know about your chakras, I recommend learning. This is not balanced, <laughs> which is a honest portrayal of me right now because I'm not balanced. Okay, that's. Probably as good as it's going to get, but there we go. Okay. So those are my things that I want to work on. So I'm just going to put spirituality. I'm going to go here, and then from here, I'm going to draw lines to the give thanks, and then to that, and then from the give thanks, we have our journaling, which I'm pretty good at journaling, but my AM routine, and then my study. 
And then for my nature bit that I have here, I'll draw a line down to more blocks with, um, with purpose and thought. And then down to my, my other two areas there. And that means I think my flamingo will fit right here. I wanted to use him because I think he's so cute. Okay, there is that. Now let's go up to our finance and get that going. And for the finance area, um, I have a, two different areas, which I have savings and um, wealth. So here we go. I have savings here, um, which is a smaller section for me. And then I have wealth, which I do these little money, money things. Here we go. Right? A lot of money. However you want to display it for you. And then I'll do my arrows. I'm going to move that. All right. And then from here, oh, look at that. I just took off my, my beautiful flamingo. Okay. I need something here. I'll have to get another quote. Okay. So for, for me, these, these two different areas are for a couple of different purposes. One, I have a, we have a wedding coming up that we're budgeting for. And two, I have these cute little kids here because I'm, trying to, I want, my goal is to have a savings plan for my children um, to help them when we're gone. So I have two little, even though my kids are adults, I just thought it was cute. It's what I had. I couldn't think of anything else. So next, part of the wealth for me is building up leaders. And I apologize to the men, but I only had pictures of ladies. And so I'm going to take that. But this is a lady run business anyway, for the most part, right? So I have all the beautiful ladies here. I think I'll use this one over this one. And then I have I have multiple incomes of built of wealth. So here's what I have for that is I have some little dollars. Um, let me put dollar signs here. And the dollar signs are with the um, wine because so I have multiple areas. And I couldn't find any vitamins, so I did coffee, and that's going to have to stand for Bella Vita. So there's mine. Okay, so. And um, for building up the leaders, I'm going to do training. And oh, oh, I have the little awards because building up leaders means awards, right, to my leaders. And then helping them with training and personal development, which I have been doing more. So that's going to represent the training and personal development. So those are my areas for that. So again, I'll have this is my multiple incomes. I will probably be writing in here, building up my leaders, which is training and helping them support their teams. And then we have the finance, and the finances for our, the wedding that's coming up, and for my children, for different areas that I really I don't want to share, so I apologize. And then um, let's see, per, this one I'm going to have to find. We're going to have to take a minute and find some stuff. The only things I want to do, like my home is very orderly as it is, <laughs> so I just have like inside and outside um, sections. So I'm going to grab. This is not going to fit. So this one's coming up as well. Okay, whoops. Okay, so I only have a couple things right now, so I'm gonna grab some of these books that I've been looking at before and see what I have, because this one is a harder one for me just to find pictures. I had this household one, that's what I was using before. But I think I'm gonna take this seasonal one here that I have, and uh, with the inside one, oh, actually let me grab a house first. I think there's a house in here. Um, Actually, I think I might use the car for the outside, but here's the house. So I'm going to grab the house for the inside. The inside. And I think I'll take a car. I was going to use the lawnmower for the outside, but part of it is I do want to clean my garage. So declutter my garage. So the inside and outside. So there's my two sections. Um, and I will draw my lines first. And then I will, like I said, I'm going to be writing in this more when I can look at what I'm doing. Um, and then, so I have for, I want to purge, <laughs> I want to purge the garage. I want to purge everything. But right now I'm going to put purge for that. Oh, I, and then I put donate for inside. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to purge and donate everything. 
Um, I have a sweep the porch because I just want to clean out my patio and work on that. Um, and I want to think about some yard maintenance. So I have that there for yard maintenance. And then again, I'm, you know, donating them and cleaning, doing a cleaning schedule, redoing my cleaning schedule. I had one, but I'm doing another one. And then part of my other thing that I wanted to do in this area was I want to go through all my seasonal decor and get rid of it. So this is the seasonal sticker book here. Not get rid of it, but I think you guys know what I mean. I only want to keep what I want to keep. Um, this is Donate a Toy. Drink hot cocoa. Just want to grab something that says like holidays. Holiday decor, but I don't know what that would be. Maybe this one will work. Yeah, let's do that. I love the little, I need to go through my Halloween. So my Christmas, my Halloween decorations, and I have Thanksgiving decorations as well. I'm just getting rid of, donate to a family need. Oh my gosh, that's perfect. Okay, because I'm donating, so. So, and I'm, and this is for my seasonal decor. So that's what that is for. So again, my house, I'm gonna donate. I'm getting on a cleaning schedule and I'm going through my um, holiday decorations. And then for the outside, I'm gonna work on a porch, the garage and the, the yard. And that is it. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my word really quickly. And I just had, this was for a wedding sticker because I was um, obviously have a wedding coming up, but I found the word in there. I found my word. And which is cherish. Um, and all things cherish right now because I feel like with 2020 has been a very interesting year. And I feel like a lot of us just kind of forgot how to um, cherish things in our life. But anyway, I'm going to put that there. And that's my word of the year. And then I'm going to take my sharp my markers here that I had. And this is this is just kind of the final touches. We'll see how well this works on here. I don't know, but I want to take my marker. And just kind of make it all relevant to that quadrant. There you go. If that makes any sense what I'm doing. I do this a lot in with my book, as you guys probably saw in the beginning. Oops. There we go. I just feel like it helps it to pop and stand out that I know those are the ones I'm working on for this area. is supposed to be from here. Well, that wasn't good. Kind of messed that one up a little bit, but that's okay. And it's the same with this one I think was meant to go. No. I don't know. There we go. Make it work. Oh, I didn't even finish drawing arrows over here. I'm 
I'll fill that in with arrows. Oh, I lost the little, that's what it was. Okay. And let's see, this one is, yeah, this one is, per, uh, is personal growth. And the last one is um, physical, uh, physical environment, which, like I said, my home is very orderly already. That's why this kind of looks like it's lacking, but I don't mess around with my house. So I might just put a quote in there like cleanliness is next to godliness or something. But that is it. That is what my board looks like. So I hope you guys liked this and I hope you're enjoying this and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.